In this video, we explain how digital certificates and digital signatures are obtained and used. Digital signatures and digital certificates can be used to ensure data we send and receive on the internet is authentic. A digital signature is pretty much like a real live signature. It uses a mathematical function and a public private key method to create a unique signature that is attached to the message. A digital certificate ensures an encrypted message is from a trusted source, and this is achieved by the source having the certificate from a certification authority, who are themselves a trusted organization responsible for providing digital certificates. Let's have a look at the process here now of digital certificates and signatures. So step one, a hash function is applied to the plain text message to produce what's called a message digest, sometimes called a hash total or checksum. As this digest is applied to the entire plain text message, even the slightest change will produce a different digest. Craig now uses his private key to encrypt this message digest. The encrypted digest becomes the digital signature. As it is generated using Craig's private key, only he can create this digital signature. The digital signature is attached to the plain text message and the whole thing is encrypted with Dave's public key and sent out. The encrypted message is now decrypted with Dave's private key. The digital signature is extracted and decrypted with Craig's public key. The message digest is regenerated by applying the hash function to the plain text message. And finally, the message digest in the digital certificate is compared with the regenerated message digest. From this, it's possible to confirm the plain text message originated from Craig and has not been modified in transit. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What are digital certificates and signatures and how do they work?